For years, airlines have promoted dream destinations. Uter doesn't fly to them. It flies to small Russian towns that most people don't dream about. Why fly here rather than somewhere with a postcard view? We found a good reason. We learned that places like this are the hometowns of 70% of Moscow air travelers. Hometowns, where they spent their Soviet childhoods, where they grew up in blocks and made lifelong friends, where their parents still live and wait for them to visit. It's where they belong. Campaign ads showed a side of Russia that's never been seen in advertising before. And people were struck with nostalgia. Short films celebrated touching moments of reunion with people who count the days until you go home. It even made people cry. Я просто вижу этот момент, у меня начинается. We went even further and discovered where on earth Russians truly dream of going. We spoke to people who moved to Moscow years ago and measured the intensity of their emotional response. We started by showing pictures of faraway lands. Then we surprised them with photos of places they know well. And that's what caused the strongest reactions of all. Inspired by the experiment, people began to upload pictures of their childhood homes. The result? An unknown Siberian carrier became Russia's second best-known airline. But more importantly, Uter made people realize what their true dream destination really is.